Hey guys, it's Hedging, and we're back with some more Platinum Solo Run. Last time, we actually got our first two Pokemon and started on our way to Jubilife. This episode, we're going to continue on. Let me do a team recap real quick. Well, that's Snowy the Piplup. Uh, water type, of course, because well, it was a water type run with the Torrent ability and Pound, Growl, and Bubble. And we got Susan Bidoof. Basically, a, with the simple ability, I didn't look at the natures. Uh, adamant nature and hardy nature for Snowy. Uh, but adamant nature with the move tackle. Let's get down to business, shall we? And let's start this timer in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. Now, these timers are only going to be 25 minutes this time, as I just want to go ahead and... Because um, 30 minutes actually wore me out. Like, I got kind of, you know... like. My body just like said no. <laughs> anyway, hi Wormple. I can't use you because it's not a uh, bug solo run. This is a water solo run. Silly you. Silly Wormple. Tricks are for kids. Fortunately, we're reaching the Ravage Path, which basically is full of Geodude, which might help me level up a little bit. Let me go ahead and uh, switch into Susan and level her up a little bit. Or him, rather. Forgot it was a him. I can't do anything here. Dang it. Alright. Let's go through here. Back to the Ravage Path. Not Ravage Path. Badoo. Oh dear. Let's see. Go, Susan. You know what I could go for right now? A low tad. See, can Susan take this out? Alright. Well, he only has that part normal type, so. Yes. Alright. Susan grew to level 4. Nice. Nice. Ah, dang it. Excuse me. What you guys say? May I please trouble you for a battle? No. You cannot trouble me for a battle. It's your Badoo. Get that Badoo out of here. Or you can just keep using... You're level 7. Oh. Susan died. Alright. <laughs> Pound. Pound. There we go. Snowy grew points. And we won. <laughs> Snowy grew points. Uh, Alright. Well, another Bidoof. I need to level up, actually. Hmm. Snowy grew level 11. Or Water Sport. Water Sport, uh... Lowers the effect of some fighting to a fire type? Fire type um, attacks. Which, in all honesty, wouldn't make much sense. Hmm. I need to get through. I need to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. <sighs> this sucks. Susan needs to level up fast, or else I'm not going to have much of a Pokemon to work with. Let's heal. And head back to where we were. Why? Because, well, duh, obviously. Wait, what town am I in again? This is Rustboro, right? No, not Rustboro. Uh, that's Gen 3. <laughs> Jubilife. Uh, alright, where I need to go is... He is... No, dang it, not to this guy. It's east, by the way. I'll beat you with the Magikarp my dad gave me. The Magikarp? What Magikarp? You mean this Magikarp? This Magikarp's not doing anything. It's cannon fodder for Bidoof. We won. <laughs> cannon fodder for Bidoof. Actually, I need to go east. Hmm. I need, I need to not die to this freaking Badoo if I can help it. Alright, and... D dang it. There we go. Susan grew level 5 and learned Growl. Nice. That's what I wanted to learn. Growl, obviously. Growl lowers attack, by the way. So I point that out to you? Why am I saying just die? I point that out like you didn't know. But where I want to go is east. Actually, you know what? We'll be alright. We'll walk east. And Barry. Why did I walk east? Hi, Barry. Hey, Snow. Tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll do... Oh. Well, crap. Alright. Barry's got a Starly... And Susan is not cut out for this. Alright, so bubble. Bubble. And pound. Okay. Turtwig. Yes, Susan. And back to Snowy. And pound. Pound. Oh no, it's going to be this type of battle again. Alright, see if I can just get away with this. Don't want to spend the whole battle on just a whole episode on just not dying. There we go. Susan grew level 6. 
And Snowy didn't level up. Damn it. What's going on here? What? I lost? Yes. Yes, you did. Alright. And... Wow! What do you mean I lost? You lost. That's what I mean. Lost. Sorry, I just moved something around on my phone. Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. No, it won't. I'll be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'll t I'm gonna toughen up for that. Totally. 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 I need I need another Pokemon. Can I catch any water types around here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I can catch any water types around here. I need to heal. Uh, actually, I can use this turn to heal. I only have one potion. Uh, I need more potions. Alright. I'm never apart from my Shinx. Our bond is strong. Oh, you have a Shinx. That might be a problem. Yeah. Because Shinx is an electric type, and... Let's face it. Electric types suck. I mean, water types suck against electricity. I mean... This one's not hitting me with anything electric. Nice. Alright. Yeah, you got crushed. You got bones, son! Welcome to the bone zone, frickin' frick. <laughs> Before I challenge the Pokemon Gym Leader, I'll test my strength on you! No, don't test your strength on me with your Machop. Oh, that might be a problem for Susan, actually. Uh, Bubble. 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 Dang. Susan grew to level 7. Snowy grew to level 12. Nice. Youngster Sebastian was defeated. I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym leader yet. I'm not ready for the gym leader. I mean, oh, I might be, actually. If I can get a, through here, another Bidoof. I'm just running into nothing but Bidoofs at this point. I don't even think I can get a water type at this at this juncture. I probably would have been better off with a normal type run, to be honest with you. X defend. X defend defends the X. Nice. Alright, but I need to get into Warburg gym. I need to get into the... Uh, the cave. I need to get to Orberg City is what I need to do. Ah, new battle, don't you? Dang it. That sparkling new Poketch. Your awkwardness as a traveler. Hmm. You're st still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a fe new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift. Oh, I thought you were going to battle me. Okay, but I got HM6 Rock Smash. Nice. I need it. Especially given the fact that I think there's nothing but um boulders in front of me. Oh, well, I... Really can't do anything with it right now. But let me go. Mm, sorry, I gotta sneeze. Let me. Oh. Pardon me. Whew. Try to cover that one. Alright, let me go ahead and teach uh, HM6 to. Uh, I said HM6 to um, Snow. Not Snow, but uh, Susan. Susan Loon Rock Smash. Nice. Now Susan has a way of taking out those. Uh, the first gym leader. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to battle anybody right now. I want to go heal. Psyduck, yes. Now, now we have our third team member. Psyduck is a water type. I think it evolves into Golduck, which is a psychic, uh, water psychic type. I think. No. Wait. Let me make sure. <laughs> but I know for a fact Psyduck is water type. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna catch a Psyduck and have a third team member. I know I'm making it a big deal already. But yeah. Psychic. Uh, it's, a, it's a water type. Excuse me. It's a water type. So what I'm going to do is catch it. Susan, you might have to take the fall here. Uh, okay, it's doing tail whip. That's not bad. Okay. I want to get out of Orberg, Orberg before the end of the episode. Oh. Okay. Snowy, um, Snowy's gonna have to do something. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna have to catch it. I'm not going through the jingle. No. No, I'm not giving them milk and cookies like they're Santa Claus. I mean, but, hey! <laughs> Saying you're not gonna do something actually works too! <laughs> Let me get that out of here. Sonic Day was added to the Pokedex, and that's our third water type. Overwhelmed by enigmatic headaches, it suffers a constant headache. Oh, enigmatic abilities, it suffers constant headache. It sometimes uses mysterious powers. Now that's what I want to see. Give a nickname to the caught Psyduck? Yes. You know I'm going to name it? It's female. Damn it. <laughs> um. Um. 
crap. Didn't think this one through. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Santa. Why? I don't know. I just said, do I have a theme going on here? I didn't even realize, I didn't stop to realize it, but I think I have a theme going on here at this point. All three of my Pokemon's names start with the S. Coincidental, actually. Oh, hi. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh-oh. You don't have a single gym badge? Why, then why'd you stop me? I was about to get my first one. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. No. Wait. If I remember properly, the gym leader's not even here. Hey. Huh? There's someone there. Uh, fine. I didn't want to go to the gym. What I want to go to is the Pokemon Center. So I can heal. And if I do lose, which I probably won't, then... Then I'm set. Alright. Let me heal. Alright. And down we go. Now what we want to do is go down, like south. My head it just... That moment where you... Ah! When you have to let go of the controller long enough for you to say, Hey, look. Um, this is the thing that happened. I don't know. But I'm going to just try to avoid as many trainers as I can. Oh, Onyx. I don't have anything. Oh, yeah, I do. Rock Smash. Wait. Oh, yeah, use Bind. Oh, that means I can't switch and I can't escape. Damn it. Right? Yeah. I'm stuck. And because of Bind, I can't escape from this battle. Ugh. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Susan just do it by herself. Means I gotta make sure not to get hit by Bind. What's this? A potion. Ah, I think I can do well with the potion. I need to. I say I need to heal. Hi, you. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. All right. Well, let me go ahead and take you on then. Or, you know, just get into a wild battle already. Hi, Geo, dude. Go, Susan. <laughs> smash it. Rock smash smashes the rocks, right? Uh huh. Well, you know. Just tackle it. <laughs> Susan grew level 8. I need Susan to learn her water type move. I could sweep with Susan at that point. Geo, dude. Alright, and another. And another one. 1 HP. Susan is Baus. I don't know why I'm saying that about a Bidoof of all things, but... Dang it. It took me forever to get out of the door. You know, I never quite noticed the coal going into that door there. I never noticed that until just now. Now I need to go heal. And then we're going to take on the gym. I figured we'd make a little bit of progress this episode, right? Right. Alright, down, and up, the gym is, the gym is down here, right? No, that leads to the mines, the gym's over here. Now that Barry's out of the way, I'm going to battle the gym. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you avoided the long way, wait, wait, where? You avoided the long way around. Let's see why you did, why you do that. Because I can. Rock smash. Rock Smash. Just spam Rock Smash. I don't even need to bring Snowy out, but if I do, I'll have her ready. Alright, level 9, defense curl, and I win. But you know what? I am I think I'm alright battling the whole, the sweep in the gym with Susan at this point. Like, it doesn't make, well, I don't even need a water type to take this gym on. Look at this. I might, I might have to. Ooh, Onyx. Maybe, okay, well, thought I can get lucky. Bubble. <laughs> How do you get beat by bubbles? But I want to be prepared, so I'm going to go ahead and heal again. And let's see. Where's the gym? The gym? The center. Let's go ahead and heal. And head back. We're getting our first gym today, Jim. Getting our first badge, whether you like it or not, game. <laughs> I'll show you something. I'll show you the superpower of teamwork. Welcome. This is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. 
I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. By the way, thanks to Snowy CW for giving me the voice for the original um, recording. <sighs> but I'm, I mean, I'm just going to go for it myself from here on. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alright. First gym. <laughs> Versus Rourke. Alright, we're moving on. We're doing things. We're stepping up our game. Leader Rourke sent out Geodude. Really? Geodude? Level 12? I, are you any match for my Bidoof? <laughs> Have you met the Lord and Savior Bidoof? Name Susan. Oh, Stealth Rock. That might be a problem. I think that's the TM you give me for beating you, right? Hmm. Trying to see. Defense spell. Ah, uh, did drop his defense. That's nice. That's the one thing I like about Rock Smash. Rock Smash lowers the defense. Sometimes. Rock throw. Oh. Wait, Rock throw is a rock type move, right? Okay, it is rock type. I thought it'd be a fighting type move. It could be. Don't know this game like you think you know this game. Ah, drop that D. Another rock smash should probably do it, actually. Oh, never mind. Another defense drop. What is it, minus three defense now? And I fainted. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, wait, does Santa have any moves? Let's see. What does it have? Water sport, scratch, and tail whip. No, it has nothing. Um, alright, snowy. It's. Oh, dang it. There we go. <laughs> well, it'd be nice to push the, you know, right buttons and stuff. Oh, and I take damage from Stealth Rock. Bubble. Wait, is this your first Pokemon, by the way? Super effective, and it fainted. Nice. Snowy gained points. And leveled up to level 13. Alright. Leader Rourke's about to send out Onyx. No, because I don't think, uh... I don't think what's his face is ready. Su not Susan, but uh, I don't think Santa's ready yet. Rock throw, and I didn't want to bring her out and, and she get like damage from Stealth Rock. So let's go ahead and destroy this Onyx. I didn't kill it. Another pound should do it. That potion. You just wasted your potion on an Onyx. Good job, bruh. Hmm. All right, that is two down. Two down, one to go, and then you bring out. Uh, Wow, I did I gained a lot of experience there. Alright. Oh. Well. My speed is crap though. Jeez, I just looked that I only have 18 speed. You're slow, Piplo. Alright, Kratidos, his signature Pokemon. Let's keep battling. I don't want to bring out Santa and have uh, another bit of rock damage. Think you could take down the next Pokemon like you did earlier? Uh you have mold breakers, so uh, uh abilities aren't a uh, thing. Actually, I don't think. I think that, like, I don't know how Mold Breaker works. Let me look. I'm just curious at this point. But, I mean, Mold Breaker does break the mold, so. Alright. Mold Breaker is a Pokemon ability that eliminates the effects of many other abilities in which negate damage or side effects. Okay, so basically, like, Levitate can, uh, ground type moves can hit Levitators. Stuff like that. Headbutt. Alright, I gotta be careful because I've got... Oh. 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 Okay. Whew. I had me scared there for a minute. Cranium host faded. Snowy gained points and... Wait, are we leveling up? Ah, uh, nope. But we defeated Rourke. What? That can't be. My buffed up Pokemon. Yeah, they're, they're weak to water. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gem badge. Until now. That, but that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge, since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Coal badge. Nice! We got the first badge. Awesome. And with time to spare. Actually, plenty of time. We've got about six minutes. Having that Coal badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should all take this, too. Give me that Stealth Rock, please. I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn Stealth Rock, though. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, a TM will teach this move to a Pokemon instantly, but a TM will break when you use it, so make sure you want a Pokemon to learn that move. Alright. Let me see here. Can any of my... Whoops. 
Can any of my Pokemon learn TM76? Probably not. See, teach the other Octo Pokemon. Yes. What? <laughs> Susan and Snowy can learn Stealth Rock. I'm not going to teach these one of them. Because, that, even though that is still funny. I mean, I can teach Snowy and Susan Stealth Rock. That's a new one. Okay, let me go heal because I think I'm almost on my deathbed at this point. Whew. That's interesting. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking... Like, how the heck did I make it this far and realize that, um... Wait, can I... Warburg Mining Museum, Museum. Wait, can I get a fossil from here, actually? Or Warburg Mining Museum, and what do you got? Hello, hello, how are you? Study oh, I give you the Pokemon fossils. Okay, but I can get them from the underground. That's that's what happens. This is where I can actually get a new Pokemon. And I don't think... What is it? In, neither one of the fossils are actually water types, so I can't use either one of them. Uh, in Gen 1 and 3, I think they have water type, uh, like, water types under the, uh, as far as fossils. Anyway, what are we catching? Geodude? No. It's a chance to level up, so. And Susan needs it. Susan's level 9 currently. Alright, and what is it? Pokeball. Just what I needed. Another Pokeball. I am very cynical today. I'm sorry. Another Geodude, Rock Smash, Rock Smash, and level 10. I think I need to put, uh, I think to start raising uh, Santa's level a bit. Because I know for a fact I'm going to have trouble in the second gym. Like, I know that for an almost certainty at this point. What? Phone's vibrating. I have three minutes, phone. Let me do me. <laughs> um, let's see. Where do I go? Alright, in, in this door, maybe. What's this? I don't remember here. Alright. What about you? I always have a rotten time. Pokemon my moves should learn. Or, what you move my Pokemon should learn. Hiya! Your Pokemon can use some toughening up. Why not training in the orb or mine? Uh, I could, actually. Nah, I'll probably use that as my off-screen uh, training area. Pokemon's eyes are twinkling brightly. Seeing that makes me happy. Here, I want you to have this. What? I got a great ball! Nice! <laughs> Alright, you know how Pokemon stay inside their Pokeballs? I think about what would be the best Pokeballs for them. You do you. I'm not even going to talk to the other two. I got like three minutes left on the timer. I figured I'd make a little bit of progress. No? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Where, where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go east of Orberg. South leads to the mines. East leads to a dead end. North? I guess north because that leads to Route 207. So, 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 you need a bike to get up. Do I have a bicycle? There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Um, well, getting to Eterna City may be a problem. Um, oh, crap. If I remember how to do it. I don't remember where to go. I don't remember. Wait a second. Let's go east. And there's nothing here. There's nothing here. What am I talking about? I forgot where I need to go. There's a way to get to Eterna. Wait. Um, let's, let's check the town map. Alright, use. It's north. North! Alright, let's go north then, alright. We'll do that. We'll go north. We're gonna end the episode once I reach Eternity City. Dang it. There's no way north. There's no way north, game. Uh, Santa can just run for now. There's no way north, game. Well, maybe if I go south. Well, maybe I'll go through Orberg Mines, of course. Not Orberg Mines. Uh, Mount Coronet. Duh. Or, you know, I could talk to Barry. <laughs> Whoops, Snow. You got the gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? So, yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get there without a bicycle. Me and my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. Okay. Good, you're not gonna battle me. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next stop, the Eternal Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Five. Who's got time to count? Uh, good, because I didn't want to re go through all that. Nine, eight, seven, six, blah, blah. I got one minute left. Ah, dang it. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. You haven't gotten through the cave yet, lady. Get that bee doof out of here. I can scratch it to death. Or, you know, I can tail whip. 
lower that defense. Alright. At this point, it's not doing anything because he's just gonna keep using defense, Carl. Right. Why? Alright, sorry, Santa. Let's get Susan out there and rock smash it. Rock smash, let me in. Alright, you lost. I am not gonna battle you. I have less than 30 seconds to get to Mount Cornet. Psyduck. Pound it. Pound it. Pound it. Snowy Guru level 15. Learn to learn. Oh, yes. Yes. That's just the move I needed. Goodbye. Uh, what's... what's this? I uh, didn't look. 3,500 against 4,100. Uh, growl. Bye. Right on time. We're gonna get out of this cave before I end the episode. Dang it. Snowy learn peck. Alright. And... Okay, I thought we evolved as 15. I guess not. Maybe I'm thinking of, uh, Chimchar. I don't remember off the top of my head. Wait, what's down here? I don't remember. I don't remember what's down here. Uh, maybe I should wait till the next episode to figure that out? Um, well, yeah, next time we're gonna make our way through Orber Cave and go through Eterna City. I probably could have went 30 minutes, but you know what? I got another episode I want to record, so next time, peace!